had some luck and just wait here patiently because we're in the perfect place he's going to keep walking straight towards us he's going to come and mark on this tree look there he comes around the corner there he is look at that beautiful male leopard and he's going to walk right past the vehicle look here here he comes right next to me look at that isn't he beautiful so there we go there's one of our predators of this reserve and he is marching along look at the power of his muscles he probably weighs i would say just under 200 pounds thanks lex okay we're just going to turn around and we're going to catch up with him i'm going to let another vehicle come past go ahead lex thanks cheers guys no luck okay let's go quickly so we're just gonna turn around Whee! you'll see there's another vehicle those are guests who've come to stay at the lodge and they're enjoying this as well with us so it's possible to come on holiday here and to get to see these magnificent animals now he's marching gosh he's walking so quickly I'm really hoping that before he disappears, you're going to get to hear him roar. Watch out there, Fergus. I don't want to sweep you off your seat. There's a big branch about to knock Fergus, the cameraman, off. I'm hoping he's going to roar for you because what he's doing at the moment is he's actually marking his territory. So he's walking along. Here we go, you can see him walking along there. He is walking along and he's going to spray urine on the various trees and bushes and then scrape his feet. And that's his way of telling all of the other leopards in the area that this place is his. This is where he belongs. Now Cameron, you want to know if he's hunting for prey. Yes, he might actually be feeling quite hungry, Cameron. And he might, if he sees something, he might decide to sneak up on it. But at the moment, what he's doing is, for now, he's focusing on marking his territory. And we've just got a hold on. Obviously, this is quite a thin patch of road. So we're just going to squeeze along. Here we go. Now, Naomi, you want to know why does he have spots? Well, Naomi, spots work really, really well to act as a camouflage. So when he's trying to hunt or when he's trying to hide away, then he'll go in between the trees or the grass and those spots basically act like some kind of invisibility cloak. So they basically hide him away. And I promise you, if you ever see a leopard in very dense vegetation, in be hidden behind the trees, they are next to invisible. So that's why the leopard has spots. It's for camouflage. Oh, and I can smell, this is gonna sound so funny, but do you know what leopard wee so smells like? Leopard wee smells like popcorn. It smells like buttered popcorn. I'm not joking, I promise you, I'm telling you the absolute truth. Leopard urine smells like popcorn. Just gonna get us a little bit closer. Here we go. Watch as he walks along the road. And you can't hear anything. A leopard is a very, very quiet, quiet animal. Do you mind if I go ahead, Lex? Thanks. I'm just chatting to one of the other guides because we're both in the sighting so we have to make space for each other. There he is. Look at him go. Isn't he magnificent? There he's going to call. Listen. How cool is that? That is what a leopard's roar sounds like. And out here we call it sawing 
because it sounds like somebody's sawing a tree. Such a cool sound. Awesome, I'm so glad you guys got to hear it. Now, Natalia, you want to know why do we keep switching guides? Um, do you mean between Tristan and myself, or do you mean between me and the guy in front of me? So the reason that I'm playing leapfrog with this car, so we're basically taking turns, is because he's got guests and he's been waiting all day for this opportunity for the leopard to get up. And so it's only fair that we actually let him make the most of the situation and let his guests have a turn as well. Hi, my boy, sorry. Hold on. Now, Justin, you want to know why is the leopard a predator? A leopard is a predator because it hunts other animals. It hunts for things like antelope and like mm, antelope, like scrub hares. A scrub hare is a type of small rabbit, or like, it looks like a rabbit at least. Scrub hares, anything like that. So that is why it's called a predator. Oh, I didn't expect him to go there, but he wants to rub his cheek on that tree and then scrape his feet. Now, Anthony, no. Other leopards probably won't come out when they see this leopard, and I'll tell you why. Because they're going to be intimidated by him. That's why he's roaring. Because leopards are solitary and they're territorial. So, in other words, they live on their own and they live in their own set place, kind of like your house, except much, much bigger. Oh, he's basically walking under the car. There he goes. There he is, walking along the road. So they won't come out because they're going to be scared of him because he's telling everyone, this is my land. Don't you come here, this is my land. And justice, yes, leopards can eat fish. They absolutely can eat fish. How cool was that he gave and told all of the other leopards to stay away? Unless it's a lady leopard, in which case, yes, they can come and see him because he's okay with that. It's just other boys that he doesn't want to see. Okay, I'm gonna catch up with him. There he's spraying some more urine. And just as sorry, I didn't answer your question properly. Yes, leopards do eat fish. But not often. Most of the time, they'll eat antelope. Eliana, remember how we spoke about the fact that leopards were predators? Well, leopards and cheetah both hunt just in different ways. Leopards sneak up on their prey and jump out very, very quickly, whereas cheetah Cheetah will do something different. Cheetah will chase their prey. So cheetah actually will chase down and run after the animals that they're hunting. But they're called predators because they eat other animals. Okay, we're about to lose him, unfortunately, because he's going into a place where we can't necessarily go. Nia, you want to know why do they live on their own? We don't really know the answer to that. It's just the way that leopards have evolved. It's one of the ways that they like to keep nice and secret and quiet. So they like to live on their own. The only exceptions that you get to that is a female with cubs and sometimes when the leopards are mating to make those cubs. All right, everybody wave goodbye. Are you all waving goodbye to the leopard?